I want to talk to you about Valentine's Day. Why Valentine's Day? Because Valentine's Day is coming up. And we as black people in America, we spend a lot of money during this holiday. And yes, it is a holiday. It's a holiday that you don't get paid for. Because it's a erotic sex day holiday. It's an erotic sex holiday. So you don't get paid to have sex, okay? However, this day, Valentine's Day, was originated, really, it wasn't even called Valentine's Day. It was called the Festival of Lupercalia. Lupercalia is a goddess of fertility for the Romans. But look how they did and look at what they did during this uh, Lupercalia uh, festival day that eventually got called Valentine's Day. Okay, and, and it goes on from anywhere from the 13th of February through the 15th of February, depending upon where you're located at geographically. And like I say, there are some dark secrets to this thing very very dark secrets but i'm just gonna name one maybe two and the rest you just research yourself um but in this valentine's day excuse me lupercalia day aka valentine's day um it is attributed to the god lupercalia as i was saying and in ancient rome um, it was supervised by priests who call themselves Luperci, Luperci of Lupercalia. Okay, now these priests supervised the whole thing. Now they had a um, sacrifice that was done with this and the sacrifice would be as I they would take a goat and they would take a dog and they would take a knife okay and two of these priests would sacrifice the animals and after they sacrificed the animals they would then with that same knife wipe it on their forehead and then afterwards remove that blood with wool that is dipped in milk yeah this is what they would do and then afterwards they would take the hide of the animals that they just sacrificed take the hides and make them to straps and they would actually go and hit the women with those straps as opposed to some stupid superstition thing yeah and they said and believed that this would invoke fertility now in this festival they were always drunk drunk running lewd running naked 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 if you see most of the Roman and Greek uh, gods and their statues, most of them are naked. Neat freak at its finest. Neat freak at its finest. <laughs> now, when this occurs, men at this time these naked men would draw a lottery for the woman. You can have 20 men, all of them gonna get 20 women and they don't have to have known each other. You put your number in the jar, your number get pulled out, 
that's who you're left with for the rest of the year. And there you have it. That's what took place. So normally you would just be a lottery drawing of coochie. Free coochie at that. And you have to stay with this guy for the whole year according to Roman customs. Now, now you also have the martyr, St. Valentine's. He was a, uh, a bishop of the Catholic Church, but he was a Christian bishop. Okay, now remember, the, the Catholic Church was wrecking havoc on the Christians. They were wrecking havoc on the Christians. I'm just saying. I mean, they were the same ones who was responsible for crucifying Peter upside down, okay? But anyway, sticking to the same Valentine thing. And under Pope... Under Cla Pope uh, Claudius II, uh, he ordered the Roman soldiers not to marry. And St. Valentine's, being a patron of love, actually married some of the Christians to the Roman soldiers. But not only did he do that, he continued to marry Christians while they were at war with the church. And he even continued to try to, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, he wanted to bring him over to Christianity. He tried to reform him to Christianity and he got beheaded. He got beheaded. And that took place in well, like 269, AD. That's right, 269 AD. Um, and in the fifth century, I think it was Pope. No, I don't think I know from according to my research, it was Pope Galatius um, who combined Lupercania, Lupercalia Festival Day, and the martyrdom of uh, St. Valentine's combined them together to give it a facelift so to say so instead of you running around naked and being drunk uh, they put some clothes on you so you won't be having to do that you know so you have a smooth freak neat without being naked and in doing so um, after it became very popular in Europe they began to make cards. They would pass out little note cards. And it wasn't until maybe 1913, it was 1913 when Hallmark actually began to mass produce these cards out of Kansas City, Missouri. That's where Hallmark is from, straight up. Now, this guy, Cupid, he's a kid. What does he know about um, what does he know about erotic sex? He's a kid. What does he know about that? But that's Cupid. It's Black History Month. So, while you're spending your money, once again, on a pagan holiday, on a pagan holiday, and with people who don't care about you at all okay they laugh at you coming through the door jewelry diamonds uh chocolates teddy bears cards they just made a killing off you during halloween thanksgiving christmas and new year's now after that you're recuperating from those Holidays where you, or shall I say, Holocaust days of economics that you're trying to recover from. Now that you get your taxes back, 
They want some money for them back too. They want all your cash. Now just think of how much money you spend. How many of you all knew that about Valentine's Day? Well, if you didn't know, well, now you know. As I say, I hope that is something that...